The 1966 showcase really reflects a period of time where England seemed to be at the centre of the world. This was the capital of fashion, the capital of music and the World Cup came to town. And it was a tournament that was full of surprises, it was full of controversies uh, and firsts and all of these are reflected in the showcase. Perhaps the biggest surprise of all was uh, North Korea in their debut appearance in the World Cup. They beat Italy 1-0, uh, a win that meant the Italians were knocked out and they qualified for the quarterfinals. This was also the first tournament that had a mascot, so we, we saw World Cup Willie enter onto the stage um, and there's been a mascot in every final since. We also reflect one of the more controversial aspects of the tournament, which uh, came in the quarter-final between England and Argentina at Wembley. We have in the showcase items from the referee, Rudolf Kreitlein. This was a, a game in which he sent off Argentina's captain, Antonio Rattin. Uh, we have his notebook and his pencil, where he recorded the, his thoughts on the sending off. English referee uh, Ken Aston was at the game and he saw the problems that Kreitlein was having in communicating with the players whose language he didn't speak and he was travelling home after the game and he stopped at a traffic light which went from uh, green to amber to red and it was that inspiration that gave him the idea for red and yellow cards. One of the great players to emerge at the tournament in England was the German libero Franz Beckenbauer uh, and in the showcase we have his shirt from the semi-final against the Soviet Union, a game in which he scored the winner to qualify for this epic final against England. It was a very dramatic game. The English seemed to have won it until conceding a, a goal very, very close to the end of normal time. And in extra time, probably the most controversial incident of any World Cup final. Did the ball cross the line? In Germany, they obviously felt it didn't, and we have a telegram in the showcase from a German fan suggesting ways to avoid this controversy in the future. The Wembley goal was Jeff Hurst's second in the match, and he went on to score a third, the only hat-trick that's ever been scored in the World Cup final. And we have in the showcase also one of the corner flags, which Hurst has signed. England celebrated their World Cup triumph with a reception at the Royal Garden Hotel in Kensington. And from that reception, we have a bottle of champagne, which remarkably, given the circumstances, remained unopened. <laughs>